Tom, you really don't know how blessed you are. Your wife is such a great cook. Oh, well, my mother is a great cook, so that I wouldn't have ended up with a woman who doesn't know how to cook as a wife. Wait, but do you mean what you said about your wife cooking three times in a day? Oh, well, yes. My wife doesn't work. As a matter of fact, I stopped her from working so that she can take care of the house properly. So I don't see any reason she would not cook as many times as I want her to and do other things, if you understand what I mean. <laughs> Anyways, you're such a lucky man. You're blessed. Oh, well, uh, I wouldn't see that. I wouldn't see that as luck. You see, I am the man of this house. I provide everything needed here. You understand me? So, any woman who doesn't do my bidding, I don't see what she will be doing in my house. Anyways, I wish to be like you. <laughs> Getting to the car, let's go back to work. You're already doing good, but then as you make your bed. job of yours is causing you your responsibilities at home, your marital obligations, then I'll be left with no other choice than to stop you from working. Hmm? I'm sure you heard me right. You say? What did I just you say? You heard me say clearly. That? Really? My dear, you have no such rights. Listen to me. Before you married me, I made it clear to you from the get-go that my job is my life dream. I mean, my passion and under no circumstances will I ever quit the job. So, you listen to me, you quit tripping, okay? Yes! Did you tell me it was going to stop you from doing your job as a woman? What? Now, listen to me and listen good. I am the head of this family and my words shall be obeyed to the last. And what is that wife duty that I'm supposed to do? As a wife? You're supposed to cook for your husband. Oh. Your husband's stomach should be the first thing ever. I see. In that case, I will employ a cook. Where? In my house? Of course, in this house. He wants food. I am going to employ a cook because I am sick and tired of going over this over and over again with you. If you are not tired, I am exhausted. And who will be taking care of his or her I salary? I will take care of his salary. Oh, that's it. That's just the point. Because you make money yourself. You no longer see yourself as a woman who should be under a man. Let me tell you, you are not employing any cook that will be cooking my meals. My wife will be cooking my food. You will be the one preparing my food. And I want that to sink in your head. Let it sink. Fabian, what in the world is the color of your problems, if I may ask? Wait a minute. You, you, you're trying to take me back to your father's days? When women were subjected to different inhumanity. Hell no! We are in a different world right now where women employ the help of a chef or cook to be helping out in their husband's houses. Okay? So you better wake up to realities or you remain in the olden days. Sonia, it's obvious you don't know anything about marriage. You don't know your duty as a wife. A cook or no food. Nobody's cooking for me. Right. Nobody. Yes, I married you with my money. I, I, I married you and you must cook for me in this house. Get ready to starve then. Get ready to starve. Also, I will pay you a proper visit. I promise you. Sonia. Yes. Sonia. Yes.
Why didn't you tell me you were coming back home with someone? Because I didn't plan on coming back home anyway. I was just uh, in the car park about entering that, that car and he opted to come with me. I couldn't say no. That's it. Wait, I should have said no because I didn't tell my wife? Tom, it called to me while you were driving back home would have made a difference. <sighs> For goodness sake, I am your wife. I am not your maid. You need to realize that. Why are you always trying to make trouble? Why are you making a mountain out of a mohi? What, what did I do wrong? Tom, I deserve some respect. I mean, what would it cost you? Hello, baby. I am coming back home with a friend and we're coming back home for lunch. Why wouldn't you make that kind of call? Of course, no, you wouldn't do it. Because you don't regard me as your wife. Oh, wow. Really? I, Tom, I was expecting you to say sorry. Baby, I am sorry, not now. Wow. But of course, you married me with your hard earned money. I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to excuse yourself from your wifely duty to me tonight. That's what you're trying to do, but it's fine. Tomorrow is another day, and by tomorrow, trust me, you won't have any excuse. Well, I am going to make this clear to you. We are not just talking about tonight. I am talking about tomorrow, the day after, weeks to come, and even months to come. Wait, wait, what, what, what did you say about Tom, 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 next Tom, tomorrow? Tom, please. You know, from the look of things, from the way I see that guy, sincerely, I do not think that I will marry the man. Like, I'm not seeing the possibility. Sincerely, I'm not. What do you mean by that? Huh? This guy is local. This guy is rust. This guy is... I can't even quantify him. This guy is just... Ah, I don't know. I cannot marry him. It's not possible. Don't worry. He will change. Who will change? Trust me. He will. No, he will not change. Um, again, I cannot even say, baby, sweetheart, my world, my treasure, my heart, you know, it's always, be a joy, be a here. Joy, be a here. Joy, be a here. Like, like a cuckoo. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's so, it's so, it's so annoying. I can't, ah, Pico, stop. Jo stop laughing now. It's not funny. I'm not joking now. It's not funny. Oh my God. You know, the worst, the worst is, look, for instance now, he wants to make love, right? He wants to have sex. Normally, you, you try from the introductions, you know, from one to three, four. He gets from one to ten. You know, it, 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 it kind of, Hold me, cuddle me, make me feel like a woman, make me feel like I want him my you know, make me wet. Don't worry, my dear. He will change. He will not change and you know it. Trust me on this. I will not you? trust you. I won't trust you. And as it stands now, I do not think I will marry that guy. Like, it's not possible. I cannot marry him. No, 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 babe. You don't have to do that. That guy is a prayer answered to your family. Your family has always known the life of penury and abject poverty. I think God sent that man to help your family from all this poverty. Thing. There's something you don't understand about life. You see, life is not about money. Like everything is about money. Most times your happiness is paramount. Seriously, money is not everything. Babe, trust me, you will not regret it. Marry this guy. 
You will not regret you it. You know that that is not true. You are just trying to persuade me and it's not even funny. It's not funny. I know what I'm saying. You will not regret it. Please, marry this guy. I saw this on time. I noticed this and I wanted to run for my dear life. But Oma gave me false hopes that he would change after our marriage. Two years down the line, he is getting worse. I am not going to continue like this. Heaven knows. I won't. This is not my ideal marriage. Oma, you brought me into all this. Now you are enjoying your marriage while I'm here suffering. God knows I can't. No, I cannot. It's either it changes now or I quit this whole thing. I can't. I can't. Please, just stop. Please. People, I want to stop, but this, this, this guy is not resting. Hmm? Just, just the, the tip. Hmm? The, the, just the tip. Tom, mm, stop. Please. Calm down. Tom, Tom hmm? take you and your tip to the other side of the bed. Please. Oh, no, to not be... Just okay, just Tom. Okay, now just remove. Let me just no, no, please don't, don't go. Mm. Don't go now. Let me be bothered. Thank you. 
baby. Babe, stand up, let's go inside. Let's go to the room. I want to sleep here, please. What do you mean by you want to sleep here? Let's go inside. Oh my God. This is not a bed. Can you, can you just allow me? I know, I just want to sleep here. Please. You're only running away from your wifely duties and you know that. You should be on your matrimonial bed, not on the cushion in the living room where it's meant to entertain visitors alone. Oh my God. I just can't get a break from you. <sighs> Listen, I hate that I'm having to explain myself because I really do not want to. You said it already. Yes, I am running away from you. I am because I am not in the mood. You get it right now, right? Okay, can I be allowed to sleep? Hmm? Suit yourself. Don't blame me. After a hectic day in the office, you still want me to come and do what with you? As what? Go back. Find your levels. How may we help you? Um, I, I heard you are a marriage counselor and that you you five marriages that are about to break. That's correct. Okay. Um, like I I was almost considering a divorce with the animal I call my husband. You know, he's just so annoying. He's so local. I don't want to end it all with that animal I call a husband. But when I was told about you, I said, okay, let me come give your magic a trial. Okay. My husband is so unromantic. Like, he's so annoying. He cannot even call me by a pet name, you know, like baby, sweetheart, even in public. He calls me by my name, Joy Bahia, Joy Bahia, you know, with his harsh and coarse voice. He's so annoying. You don't want to know. Wow. Is that all? No, that's not all. He's so romantic. He doesn't know how to kiss a woman. You know, make you want him. How to even make a woman wet? No, he doesn't. Once he, he, ha he wants to have sex, we just want to go in and come down. Just like that. He, he, he can romance me. Make me feel him. You know, he's so, he, he's so crazy. I don't know how. In fact, I am tired of him. But I actually hope and pray you can actually work for me and let my marriage come back to a very sweet thing. Please. I'm so sorry to hear about all of that, madam. Thank you. Trust me, I want you to know that there is no problem without a solution. Oh, okay. I've heard everything you said about your husband not being romantic and, you know, yeah. But I want you to know that you can still be amended. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. You can still correct it. Thank God. There is not the end of your marriage. <sighs> Okay, Good. so what we do is we have to invite your husband over and then proceed with our, with our talk section. Wow, thank God. I can't wait. I cannot wait. Sincerely, I can't. Alright then, I will need you to help us with this contact. Okay. This number here. Okay. Yeah. We invite him over for see what we can do, okay? Yes. So, you must know that this is a different package from the one you already subscribed for. Of course, money is not an issue. I, I don't mind to pay anything to get my man back, to, to have him change for good. Thank you. He will change. Just drop his number. Okay? Thank you. Don't worry. Settle. Thank you. Just drop his number here. Babe, how did it go? She, she said she would have a talk section with him. And then after that, he would change. Wow. I told you that there are experts on that. I told you. 
Oh. I sincerely pray so. I don't want you to see it as if I, I, I misled you. I, I was only trying to help. See, now, you now drive your own car. Live in a good apartment. And your parents, living in a good apartment too. That is what I was seeing when I was insisting you marry that man. Please, I never knew it would turn out this way. The, 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 the bottom line is that I pray. In fact, I'm hopeful that it changes. But if after everything, he does not change. From me to you, sincerely, I will take a walk out of this marriage like i would not turn back he will change yeah he will change god will do it for us god will do it for us he will change is this how love we treat me i'm in pain i'm in pain is this how we treat me, I'm in pain. I'm in pain. Should I walk away? Should I give it a break? Should I fight it out? Who is this? Tell me who you are first. Oh, okay. On marriage? Okay, I should come to your office tomorrow morning. It's alright. So, but what exactly am I coming to do? It's alright. It's alright. Okay, I'll be there. Yeah, thank you. Oh my God, please help me out. Baby, show me some love. Show me some love, baby, more. Show me some love. I need your attention. I'm not asking too much. Show me some love. I need your papa. <clears throat> ah, no, welcome. Uh, Bia Joy, did you give anybody my number? I don't understand. Someone called me and uh, she was telling me that I should come to the office tomorrow morning that she's a marriage counselor. Okay, maybe you should go and know why she's calling you. Maybe I should go and know why she's calling me. Mm -hmm. And how did she get my number? If you get her tomorrow, you will know how she got your number. I, mean, I don't know. What did you cook? Spaghetti. Spaghetti what? Which one is spaghetti again? Mbrecha Road in Mafia, you expect me to eat spaghetti? New mon no no neri. Baby, I garnish it well. You. In a garnish again ne? Instead I'm to garnishing. Go to the kitchen and make swallow for me. Na balia. Uh uh. Oto toa. Swallow. 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 Come and push me. Karen Boma got cooked for me. So I get to eat. You have a choice. My wife is here. Joy came to this place and I was asking her last night. She was pretending as if she doesn't know what I was talking about. Mr. Ogolo, 
I want you to know that your wife loves you very much. So much. And she knows that you love her too. All she's asking for is a little romance. She wants you to be romantic a little. You know, pet her, call her pet names. You know, pamper her like, you know, we women, we love pampering a lot. Just the way a mother pampers her newborn baby. Every woman wants and craves for pampering, that kind of pampering. That's what your wife is asking for. Stop embarrassing her publicly. Even if you need to correct her, you do that with love. That's all. Okay? <clears throat> so this is why I was called to this place. Hmm? Hmm. You don't like what I'm saying? Why would I like what you're saying? Eh? Okay, fine. I want to ask you one question. Go ahead. Are you married? Hmm? I am. I, I didn't say you should show me your ring. I'll do ganju. You're married, eh? Very well married. Okay, fine. How romantic is your husband? On a water pipe of ma? Hmm? Yes. That's my personal life. Oh, that's your personal life, eh? So the one you are discussing now, is it not my personal life? Your wife walked into this establishment. I mean, into this office to report this case to us. And by so doing, it automatically makes it our business. It's no longer your private life alone. Why do people like living fake lives? Excuse me? Yes. So, you want me to be coming here to take lectures on how to be romantic? Romantic on the Tegan account? Huh? You want me to be coming here to, to, to be lectured on how to be romantic? When your husband is not even romantic? Thank you. Adon, excuse me, you have no right whatsoever to talk about my husband in that manner, okay? You don't know him, you don't know us. Says who? Let me tell you. I don't need to know your husband to know that as I'm looking at you now, that you had a fight with him before coming to this office. Yes! Stop deceiving yourself. Teach women how to respect us. Teach women how to be submissive to us. That is what we ask for. Let me tell you. I will continue shouting on her until she learns how to respect me as the husband. Let her treat me as a king I am. Then I will now reciprocate. I am out of here. And if you know what is good for you, teach them to respect us as the husband. Excuse me. Unless, unless you're not coming back to the house. Anywhere you like, you should hide. Unless you're not coming back to the house. You don't give that man the respect he deserves as your husband. I, I don't understand. Did he complain to you that I do not respect him? Mm -hmm. But how, how would I respect a man that doesn't treat me right? How? That's not possible. Be the change you want. The change you desire. He started first. Treat him as he should. Accord him the respect he deserves as your husband. And watch that man be the man you desperately want him to be. Joy. 
Joy, Joy, how did it go? Hmm? Can you imagine? My husband said I do not respect him. He was complaining to the lady that I don't respect him. Huh? Then she now said eh, that the change I want to see should start from me. That I should start respecting him and then I will see that things will change. Like I don't understand. No. Maybe that's the magic that will bring the change you desire in him. You are the woman here. Maybe you should change first. I don't understand. Like, 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 like I'm so confused. How do I change first? What are you even saying? A man that does not respect me, a man that talks to me carelessly and rudely, how? How should I respect such a man? How? Like, how? Does it make sense to you? I am sorry. I'm only trying to be of help. Oma, Biko. I understand and I appreciate your help. But please, what, what are you saying? Listen to me. I'm a girl that is well trained. As Oma Fuma. Do you understand? I am well trained. I'm well mannered. I have respect. People I see on the streets, anywhere, anybody I see, I respect them. They have, why would I respect my husband in the house? Why? A man that married me, I would respect him. But my darling, you know that it's not my fault. That man is the cause of everything. He needs to change first. When he begins to respect me and talk to me like his wife, you will see that everything will be okay. Not me. Because my mother will tell me that. No, 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 You don't know. You want to see that bag. I understand you, but you see, just like the marriage counselor advised, some men are like that. They wouldn't want to change until they see you change first. Just in your own case now. You've been married to him for many years now. And he didn't change. Nim, why don't you change towards him first and see if he will reciprocate the change? Oh, why no one you won't know? Eh? Yeah. Biko. No, Mato Castello. Oh, go. Into you go. Because you know it's, it's going to be very hard. Okay, this is seriously extremely hard. Because that kind of person, I'm I will try, man. Oh, okay. It will be hard. It will be hard. Just okay, try. Just try. Hard. Just try now. Let me open it up. I don't understand. What's all this? Eh? Why would you do that? What's all this? What's wrong with you? Joy, I'm asking you. How can you be this stupid and senseless? Eh? At your age, you still behave as evening in what of sense. How can you report me, your husband, to another woman who is probably having issues with her husband? Eh? Why will you do that? Sweetheart, she is a marriage counselor. She's an expert in such issues, marriage issues. You know, so I, I just feel you should keep going for her talking classes and then you, you'll see that you will change. Get out! Get out! Get out! What is there? I'm going to have work there. Are you alright? Wait, I should, I should go there and, and be listening to the rubbish that she be telling me. Eh? Me? I'm going to go Mara. Go go there and be listening to the rubbish that that small girl be telling me. Someone that is probably having issues with her husband. I should be going there to be listening to her. So it says, how, how do you even know that she has issues with, with her husband? I should know. Yes, because there's no perfect marriage in this world. There is no perfect marriage in this world. People cover the loopholes in their marriage, but stupid ones like you wash their dirty linens outside. Yes! You tell the whole world how you live in your family. Huh? You know that your, your sense is now coming up. Like you're having too many sense. Upper sense now. Good. Your, your sense is now getting bigger. You know? You, you, you've been insulting me since so. You've been abusing me since I've been keeping quiet. Can make a good wife, as they said. They just come, come down. No, 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 no. I am used to your insult now. You can go ahead and insult me. Insult me. I am used to it. Why would I insult you? Oh, oh, you try to change me. Yes, sing a change again. I will go. You know, yala. Yes, you are a You are a monkey. You are a Ugambia. You are a Jot. You are a Ugambia. You are a Yes, he can see. You're okay, so good. Yes! Okay. Uh, wait, you want kill You want fight, Abi? Kill me. Let's go. Oga, 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 be careful. Oh, be careful, no. Me. Be, yes, be careful, Oga, Kill me. Be careful. Yes, he can see. Don't worry. Ah, I'm not going to. You're not going to. Oga, Kill me. You're not going to. 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 You're not going What kind of marriage is this? 
what kind of a mistake of a man did I end up with? Other couple goes to see the marriage counselor and change for good. At least I decided to start giving him the respect he complained about. But no, he would not change. He had to push me to the wall with his abusive words till I had no option than to retaliate. Is this how I am going to stay? God forbid. Instead of living in hell in the name of marriage, I better stay single. God knows I cannot continue like this. Never! Yes, I will just die of depression. Is this how love will treat me? I'm in pain. I'm in pain. Is this how love will treat me? Hey! Baby. Hey. Hey. You know, I even said, okay, maybe it's my fault somehow. Let me just try and change the narratives, okay? I was being so nice. You know, it got back from work. I said, baby, welcome. How was your day? Like, I missed you. I was just being so romantic and all sweet and all loved up. My sister, you gotta change her for me. He changed her for me as in ASAP. And he was just shouting down the whole building like a madman. Like a mad dog. Can you imagine? What nonsense? Hey. Hey. What the worse hey. than that? What the worse than that? He was, he was abusing me, using all sorts of words on me, insulting me for what? For being a loving wife. I do not understand it. Hey. Like, I don't get it. Can you imagine? Now, and I said, okay, honey, calm down. I'm sorry. I'll give you a little bit. Oh, no, I shall not vibrate. I didn't change anything. I changed her for him. It's like, he was like, eh? I give him as the horse in his own coin. I changed it for him. He, he, he was so confused. Yes, yeah, so, because when you call, who the hell are you? Like, what are you? Who, who help? Hey. What you rubbish? That your husband is a devil. A queen superb. Oh, yeah? That one. Oh, hey. Worse than devil. Worse than. Worse than, than devil. He's hey. a Lucifer. He's a wicked human being. Oh, but it's an abomination. Hey, Biko, did he say he was not going to go for the talking section with the marriage counselor again? Eh? If we go near now, see your friend now. Hey. No, look at pity me now. All my money gone. Like all the money I paid for that thing, wasted and gone. Look at me, a good wife, trying to make our marriage work. That's nonsense, human being. Refused, bluntly. But it's fine. No problem. What the ma? So I do. Hey, mm. Mm. I think the best thing to do now is to take him in, take him to God in prayers. Eh? That's the only thing though. That's the only thing. Because, because, only thing. because, can you hear? That's not again. Take him to, 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 to what's in prayers. Is it crippled? I don't understand. Me, pray for who? Pray for who? It's also only possible. I cannot even try it. Onye, pray. For who? Because relax. relax. Mind yourself. Oh. Mind yourself. Relax. Mind yourself, please. Just mind yourself. Before go, all this your advice, relax, it will change. It's enough. I've had enough. Like up to here. I don't change anymore. Up to this relax. Just just happier yeah? because you, 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 you haven't getting me peace. Happy this the, 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 the thing now is I will just keep sleeping in that house. Now I get I will manage it. But the day I will just wake up or do me say bam. Monsieur, oh guy, this is the this is the end of the road. Oh guy, or some eh? Today, or end the go. I will just take a walk because I cannot even deal. Like I'm going so crazy, I can't deal. What is this? Tom, yeah. I was telling Nick of how we we'll took your wife, and he was doubting me. I said, I must come to witness to this great testimony. That was too much. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. Listen, Nick, 
make I am not hyped anymore. I'm only telling you the obvious truth. Okay, it's fine. Um, it's almost lunch time. Why don't you tell me what you would like to have? So I can call her and then we can all go for lunch together. How about that? <laughs> oh, nice. Are you stressed with that young lady? Stress? Why did I marry her in the first place? Okay. Yeah, okay. I think I'll go with the Hussie soup you guys ate last time. Me too. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll join the bandwagon and um, have a Hussie soup and pounded yam too. <laughs> Let me uh, hold her. <laughs> Hi, baby. Yes, um, change of plans. Um, the uh, rice and stew. Something. Uh, I would like to have uh, baby sisu and pounded yam. I'll be coming with two of my friends. Famous, I am already preparing the rice. Stop it then. So not, I don't even have ingredients to make a greasy soup. The market is just a few minutes drive, so go get it. We're, this is just 11.30 and we'll be coming by 12.30. That means you have one hour. Okay? So, uh, you have yourself a greasy and pounded yam. Yeah. I can't do it. That's just it. I mean, well, well, how hard can it be to eat a good homemade meal for lunch? That's what I do every day. Confirm it. <laughs> <laughs> you will see and taste by yourself. <laughs> yes. Confirm it. <laughs> Which you have just now. Just. Is this how love will treat me? I'm in pain. I'm in pain. Is this how love but we treat me? Um, Thomas called. He said his friends are coming over for lunch and they requested for um, pounded yam and egusi soup. I don't have enough ingredients at home. I need to rush off to the market to get some. So go and get some. Okay, ma. Uh, would you be needing anything I from them? I don't need anything. Just go. Make sure you come back on time because he says he's coming with his friends. Go, go, go. Mm. Sorry. Okay. I'm dying in silence. I'm dying in silence. I thought they say that marriage it's a beautiful thing, but mine is different. Jima, yeah. But mine is different. Oh my God, please help me. Out. Baby, show me some love. Show me some love, baby, more. I just show, show me some love. I need your attention. I'm not asking, asking too much. Show me some love. I need your papa. <laughs> Show me some love. I'm not asking for much. Show me some love. What's this one God me my love. I'm not asking for much. Show me some love. It's me and you forever. Got to try it together. No one puts us on that. What else can I do? Someone tell me. Now, I am sick and tired of this situation. The more I try, the worse it becomes. If I had known, I 
wouldn't have got my side in this. What a good woman with good heart. Ooh. But marriage has done her to a slave, a slave. Is this how love will treat me? I'm in pain. This is not working. Which is called Notre Dame. It's called Almost. I'm in pain. Should I walk away? Get a penis. How much, ma? 10,000 naira. Should I add the charge? Yes, please. I'm just trying to make it slap you a bit, okay? I'm in a haste. Just try it again. Oh. It's still declined. Let me see. I just use this card. At They've debited me twice. Uh, it's network. Saying, which one is network? It's back network. But they've removed the money from my account now. They debited me twice. Look at it here. It's declined. You're showing me what do you want me to do with this? Please just look for a way to give me back my money. Madam, it's your bank network. Which one is my bank? I'm telling you that they debited me twice. You're telling this me it's my... This is declined, ma'am. Ha! Madam, Biko, I beg. I don't have strength. I don't even have the time for this. I'm in a haste. Kindly look for a way and give me back my money. Check your receipts now. This thing is declined. So what do you want me to do? It's not my fault. Though. Whose fault is it? Mine? Madam, Biko, I don't want issues. I don't even have strength for, for problems right now. Just look for a way and give me back my money so that I can go. You're telling me it's not your fault. Whose fault is it? Mine? It's bank network. It's Madam, bank give network. me my money. I now see bank network. Let me have my money back. You will not stop ready. <laughs> Good afternoon. My friends. I can see you. Good afternoon, my dears. Please sit down. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, um, where is my wife? I didn't uh, perceive any aroma while coming in. That's because she hasn't cooked anything. She left this house since morning. Said she was going to get some stuff from the market. I haven't seen her. Very fine, Mom. Come in. Mom. Mom, meet my beautiful girlfriend, Margaret, the girl I've been telling you about. Margaret, Good evening, my beautiful mom. Yeah. Good evening, Ma. Where are you from? I'm from Imo State, Ma. And whose daughter are you? My father is late and my mom is Who was your father before this? My father was a village carpenter. Excuse you? Yes, ma'am. He was a village carpenter. Tom. Yes, mommy. This is the person you want to spend the rest of your life with? Yes, mom. Isn't she beautiful? The daughter of a village carpenter. Come on, Doctor. We have friends in high places. Yes, I know that. We have, we have friends. We're friends with senators, ministers, business muggles. Their daughters are not good enough for you. Mom, you want Margaret. to rob the name of your father in the mud by marrying this <laughs> Margaret? Mommy, stop! Stop! Baby, Don't stop. be silly! Come back here! Baby. Is this boy high or something? You come back and meet me here. What is the meaning of this? <laughs> 